What has to be one of the most tackle busting, most difficult fish you'll ever pull out of a snag is the old estuary cod. They hit really hard and they bury themselves deep down in the snags and rocks. They're really difficult to catch. Most people catch them by mistake, but if you want to learn how to actually target them and have a little bit of fun with this really underrated sport fish, then check this out. Oh yeah. Oh, you stopped me under the rock. Oh. You little bugger. They come out like a free train, these things. Chase an estuary cod. Now, estuary cod are probably one of the most underrated estuary fish you could ever imagine. There's big numbers of them, and you do get a lot of little ones. The real big ones, you're not gonna get them. They pull like freight trains. They're a really underrated table fish. They're really quite nice to eat. But as far as the sport fish goes, when you're fishing 30 or 40 centimeters of rocky reef like I am today, it's heaps of fun. So let's give it a go. to change over to the heavy tackle because I just keep getting absolutely smoked on these cod um, in water that's so shallow like I, I hit them as hard as I can on the light gear which is only eight pound line and it's got a 20 pound leader but I've gone 20 pound line 40 pound leader so I'm a bit over twice as I can put twice as much hurt on them now and see if I can get them out as usual I'll take you through all the tackle at the end of the video but basically I'm just using a Z-Man it's a diesel minnow, four inch diesel minnow. The color I'm using is a chartreuse with silver on it, just to give it a bit of contrast. Um, I've mentioned it a few times on my videos, I like lures that have a bit of contrast rather than just a plain color. They just seem to work a little bit better. And I've got it on a standard jig head. I haven't got a Z-Man chin lock or the weedless jig heads. I've used a quarter ounce jig head um, and I'm just rolling it over top of these rocks. And Oh. Oh. Yep. Oh. So after being dusted up half a dozen times and getting a couple of smaller cod and that real shallow stuff, I've come out to the edge of this rock bar where it's only two meters deep but I change over to a Berkeley gulp because the gulps just sink <laughs> and as I keep mentioning the the Z-Mans as good as they are they're just too buoyant so I could go a heavier jig head and keep using the Z-Man but I like the gulps anyway now that I'm a bit deeper I'm back to a gulp and oh what have I got here it's not a quite oh, it's a little queen <laughs> oh there's a little nibble Oh, yeah. oh, you stop me under the rock. Oh. You little bugger. They come out like a free train, these things. Oh. I'm in trouble here. Come on, mate. Where are you? Oh, I'm a good size here. <laughs> They're not even that big. You got no chance. Oh, re rig. Oh, yeah, it's got me. I'm in trouble here. Big trouble. Ah, done. So, things to remember when you're chasing estuary cod is that they look like a rock. So, they sit amongst the rocks, and nine times out of ten, you'll always find them on rocks or beacons or sometimes in amongst really entwined mangrove roots but 
generally speaking they're on rock and they look like a rock so they'll sit on the bottom and as a crab or a prawn or a bait fish goes past they come out and they hit them really hard so they're a speedster they'll come off the mark really really quick but they have no stamina so unless you get the real big ones the little ones will hit you like it's a real big fish and then die pretty quick as you wind them in Oh, he's coming the rock. Get out, get out, get out. Oh. Oh. Got me. So, you can see the shape of that rock just under the water. If I go out this way, I might be able to pull him out. I need a big fella. Come here. And he's out. Oh, it's a good cod too. Gold spot estuary cod and little, but I'm fishing in like 30 40 centimeters of water straight over rock here, so he just dies, dies for cover. So it's, you've got to hit him so hard, and they're good fun. Now, I had a bit of a play with the estuary cod on the really light spin gear, but I was just getting busted up all over the place. Even the heavy tackle, my 20 pound braid, 40 pound leader, was still getting busted up by those fish. So a spin outfit like this is ideal, or bait casting outfit if you can cast those little plastics with bait casters, or even use hard body lures. Now the lure I really like to use is the Z-Man lure. This is a 4 inch Z-Man minnows. It's rigged up on a standard jig head. I found that with the Z-Man minnows, you need the weight up the front on a standard jig head to pull that nose down. Otherwise they're really quite buoyant and they don't sink too well in the rocks. But I like them to swim down underneath the rocks when I pause it so the cod will come out and smack them. So that's a really good rig for them. When I fish the deeper water, because they don't sink too well, I just changed to a Berkeley Gold. But I could have put a three quarter ounce jig head on this and it would have sunk down in that deeper water. So either way works really well. So soft plastics, fairly heavy gear, not crazy heavy, but 20 pound braid, 40 pound leader, and you'll still get dusted up by these fish, but you'll have heaps of fun doing it.